Cancer Leo to your mid-month reading. Okay, guys, let's get straight into this and see what's happening for you at this time of the month. See what messages are coming through for you. If you guys like this, please hit that big like button. Okay, guys, let's get in here and see what's going on. We already pulled a couple of cards. So, getting into this. As we have here, we do have the milestone coming out with the uh, Two of Wands. So, definitely talking about... I love that. With a milestone card over here, wow. This is talking about ready to establish a new milestone in your life, taking on that new milestone or a choice, right? So there could be some choices, especially when you have the two of wands as well. It's like looking out, looking at what's going on around you, attaining those goals, but may have a choice, right, of what it is that's pulling you it's kind of like pulling towards you, right? As you're looking at this world in, in his hand, you see that? So it's kind of like, which which wand do I want to uh, put my hand on? What is the better choice? Um, and so there could be a lot of changes in the way that you're looking at things at this time, right? Wanting to celebrate right now, right? With that milestone saying, this is where I think I'm going to go. Maybe you're going to start school or quit some personal pattern. Maybe you want to quit smoking or drinking or any kind of behavior that might feel like it's self-sabotaging at this time with a milestone. Um, but it's definitely looking at a different way of doing something. Um, so it's definitely making those, de those different decisions. So let's look and see what's going on. The best message is coming out. Planning in a different direction is really what it looks like. You could even be making some kind of crucial financial decision. How you're going to attain that goal. Yes, taking new steps. It's like taking new steps. Looking towards something new. Looking for something that's different from what I was doing and attaining before. Um, right, maybe you're making new steps to pay off a bill. Get out of debt. Um... Like I said, maybe you decided you're going to school now or wanting a new job or however it is. It could even be love, right? Taking new steps towards, you know, a reconciliation of love. I mean, because the two of wands is also a card of reconciliation, okay? So it could be making new steps towards how I'm going to, you know, uh, reconcile with this person. Or maybe even reconcile within yourself. Right, taking on new creative endeavors. So something different is definitely going on over here where you're being inspired to take new steps towards something different. Something that is going to help you get to where it is you want to be. And this milestone is there because that milestone says you're at the milestone of, of making that choice. You are definitely at that place right now where you can step through that portal. You can step through, you know, through that door to say, this is the new steps I'm going to take. I have the, you know, creativity to do so. I have the inspiration to make way for whatever it is that I want for my destination. Okay, so, and honoring whatever success that you want, whatever that success is, whatever that goal is, whatever you feel is a good idea because of that inspiration. Okay, so this is something that is very peaceful, bringing in peace, bringing in peace of mind. Okay, time to, it's also kind of auspicious time as well. You can kind of see it with the milestone and the piece over here. That is kind of an auspicious time to get to where it is you need to be. If, it, you know, you want that new house, it's time to get out there and get that house, right? If you want to invest in any kind of property or any kind of financial endeavor, that's, that's it now, right? Because I... I'm seeing right now within you that you have that creativity. You have that inspiration to get out there and make that move, right? Yes, because you deserve it. Look at that. Having the castle behind her saying, because you deserve this. You've been working hard at this. You've been thinking about this for a while. Now it's time. Now it's time to actually make that move. Make that happen for you. Okay. If you receive any kind of call from someone, then it's time to jump on that, right? Because it does feel like, well, I'm thinking about that situation. 
I know where I need to be. I can feel it, right? So let's look in here and see what's going on on taking the steps over here towards this, this new move that you are planning on making. Absolutely. There was could have been some lack of motivation and a little bit of delays. It does feel like you were feeling very weighed down in the past um, before this happened. But a lot of times that's what happens though, right? Because we're weighed down by all that energy. And now it's saying, no, now that I've got this call, I'm making some significant changes. I'm ending. So it does feel like that cycle of for you is ending as everything is coming to a change. Everything is transitioning around you. That's the end of that cycle. Now you're going to feel free enough to move. You're going to feel like I'm like you're not stuck anymore. Like you're in this place of great change. Right. Great celebration. Winning that race. The milestone here is like the same as the four of wands. Right. It's like I'm at this place of celebration. I'm at this place of the finish line. So you have the ace of swords over here, which is saying that having that breakthrough, having those new ideas and that success and that sharp mind is bringing in those new beginnings, bringing in that transition at this time. And that's where the peace is coming in. That's where that peace of mind is coming in. Knowing that things are not looking like they cannot be solved or they cannot be handled. So there are going to be decisions that can be made that you're going to have that aha moment that is going to bring in the deserving of the Ten of Pentacles. This is where you're going to feel like you're uh, contributing to what it is you need at this time, right? By making these decisions, by making this long-term success, finding that stability and attaining those good things that you see coming at you, right? If, you, if you're sitting down and you're looking at what, it, what returns can I have, right? Where is this, the success for yourself? But also when you want success, you want the return. Right? You're not going to just get out here and be like, oh, yeah, this will work for a little while. No, no, no. I want the long-term success, the long-term goal and reward from the situation. So this is talking about putting all your worries at bay, not worrying about that because you have peace of mind. Okay? And you're going to feel like, like I said, like you're not as weighed down as you were before. There it is. Look at that. I just said that the milestone is the four of wands. So it is feeling like you're at this place of the finish line. Having that celebration and that joy and that freedom. That freedom was what was weighing you down. Having that peace of mind and this understanding and making these decisions is what's freeing you. So you're definitely going to feel like, you know, you're at this place of you can move, not being stuck. And as you, you're noticing that you're not stuck, you're going to notice that things start moving for you. Okay? Things are under control. Things are balanced. Things are opening up. Things are, are coming together. As these choices are now making new, brand new choices for you as you are searching for that purpose, searching for that place that you need to be, you're going to realize, whoa, that's crazy. That's crazy because, you know, just yesterday, it could have felt like yesterday, I was weighed down. I couldn't make those choices. I didn't know where I was supposed to go. And you're just going to wake up and have this kind of feeling. The more you think about it with the two of wands, the more you make these choices, weigh your pros and cons to the situation, you'll know and you'll discover what it is it's going to take to make a reconciliation with someone for that long-term success or what it's going to take to get those goals attained. Whatever it is that you're doing, if you want to travel, this is also a card of travel. If you're traveling to this country and you know you need to attain money and how much money to save, you'll start going on that budget, making those big decisions, right? So whatever it is, it's going to, it's like your intuition and your creativity are going to come together and transform you into this, this new place where once all the worry goes away, you'll be able to attain all that information from yourself. Not just for your family, for some of you, it's for your family, right? For yourself, for your family, the increase in your money, 
the increase in your budget, the you know what I'm saying? Increase in, in thought and how you're moving. Right? And it's all about, it really is all about, you know, the passion that you're holding within yourself. Right? The passion and the great gratitude and the things that you want to attain. And the more that it's almost like you're opening up to these understandings, the more the great gratitude is going to come. Wow, you know what? I feel, because as soon as you feel lighter, you're going to feel that gratitude come in. Wow, you know, I have this understanding. I get it. I don't have to feel like I have conscious lack. I don't have to feel like, you know, I can't do this. And so all of that negative energy is just shifting away from you. And the more that you're shifting, the more... You're not to frag, you know, you're not going to fragment energy, and the more you're going to have a better understanding. Okay, no more fragmenting energy, and you're also going to make better connections, better connections with people around you, finding people to help you through this process, running into people just out of the blue. Right, as that seven of cups comes in and saying, I'm, you know, maybe you find someone online that can actually help you, you know. Get out of financial debt, however it is. Or maybe even running into this new supportive connection that becomes a love. Or can help you, you know, understand just things in general. Wow. That's a very amazing reading because it's saying that there's a lot going on. Um, but it's all about shifting at this time to get you away from the idea of lack. Right? Because the ace of of uh, wands is definitely a card of saying I lack. I lack energy. I lack passion. I can't do things. I lack money. So anytime we're in the vibe of lack, we cannot attain because that energy just keeps pushing that we don't have. We don't have. We can't have. And it just feels like just out of this blue, all of a sudden, boom, this shifts towards you and says, no, you can have. Right? And maybe you even run into this supportive connection of someone who tells you, you know what, if you did this and did that and they give you this kind of idea, right? They give you this idea. It could be even a Scorpio who gives you this idea, right? That, you know, hey, you know, I did this and I did that and it made you weigh the pros and cons to a situation. Because no matter what it is, it's almost like, okay, I'm getting these new ideas weighing in on me and I'm going to balance out these energies and then all of a sudden it's almost like maybe somebody is saying something right that's changing everything around for you right changing the frustrations to swiftly taking action on what's coming through and you know because it's getting your mind going as our, our mind gets going it weighs in all these different things so definitely there is some kind of information that's coming through that kind of snaps you out of that lack and understanding. Like I said, and it could be something even on the internet that kind of catches your attention, right? Okay, so beautiful reading, guys. Let's go ahead and get a daily healing card. Yeah, I see that, you know, and it's not going to take very long for you to pull out of this and really start pushing towards that dream and that goal and really finding your footing in that area. It's almost like the success and this breakthrough is like, like I said, that milestone, guys, is like you're right at the finish line. Make gentleness and have it. Be gentle to yourself during this time. Okay. And always look for the good, even in the most difficult situations. So even if, even if in this situation you run into a place where it's like, yes, I have peace of mind, but it doesn't mean that I still didn't hit kind of a wall and which way to really go. I'm just trying my hardest, right, to keep that peace. Just make sure, right, that you are um, looking for the good, right? Keep it positive as much as possible, even when you run into something that, uh, like I said, that still pushes you against the fence, right? Because there still could be snags. It's like the overall energy is like, this is what you're doing. But it doesn't mean that there's not going to be a snag along the way, right? So when that does happen, kind of go backwards and say, hey, you know what? But I'm not going to think like that. Or I'm not going to allow that energy to push me back down. Or allow this circumstance to, 
you know, get in my way as an obstacle. I'm going to jump that obstacle and try to figure out another way around it because you have the two of pentacles and the two of wands. So there's a lot of decisions and a lot of uh, negotiations and balancings and making decisions, right, about the situation, okay? And just looking for the more practical. It feels like it's more looking for the more practical way around something. Right, because if you're juggling two of pentacles, it's usually practicality because it's an earth sign energy, and earth signs are very practical when it comes to situations, something that makes it very practical, very um, stable. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.